In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. Today, I'm going to buy one of my favorite cars of all time for a 2 million dollar discount which will get me closer to completing another thing on the GTA Online checklist. And the way I'm going to get the discount is by completing the claimable salvage yard robbery for this week which is the Grotty. Itali GTO. The robbery for this car is the gangbanger robbery this week, which is one of the easiest ones to do. And because we've already done it before, we don't have to scope it out. So let's now get into the first setup mission. Now, something else I should mention is that there's currently double money on the wall safe income in the salvage yard as well. And so if you have a tow truck with the business, you can be making up to $50,000 every in-game day just by towing multiple vehicles. I'm personally not going to bother with it, but I do think it is a great way to make money this week. Okay, so we're here at the Weasel News Station, and now we have to hack the signal box to figure out to where the helicopter is. All right, we have arrived here. There is the helicopter. I could go in stealth, but I'm just gonna go in aggressive. We got cops everywhere. I should take out to this one, these two guys here actually. Now we could take the Maverick and lose the cops. Now, unfortunately we can't call up Lester and lose the cops that way. So the easiest thing to do is to fly over to the hills. Usually they don't follow you all the way up here. All right, now that we've lost the cops, we just have to drop off the helicopter at the marked location, which is very close to the hills, which is why I went there in the first place. Perfect, we've landed it. Now we have to get out of the area. And there you go, mission complete. Let's now move on to the next setup. Now, before going any further, I should mention why I want to get this car. And it is because if you don't know, one of the things on the GTA Online checklist is to get my favorite car from every year of GTA Online. And the Atali GTO is one of two of my favorites from 2018. Now I haven't decided which one I'm going to go for yet, but if I could get this one for just $20,000 or roughly around there instead of paying a couple million, I think that will be a great deal. All right, we're downstairs here in the lockup and why do I have a pistol? I'm so, yeah, I'm so dead. That, that was never going to work. I don't know why I went in there with a the pistol, but all right. All right, we're back and this time I got the combat MG, which should be a lot better. I'm going to take some cover here behind these crates. And I think there's seven or eight police officers or security in here that I got to take out. No, no. This is a bad start. Okay, I think I got everybody. Now we have to go and check each one of these cars to see if the tactical gear is inside. All right, we got lucky here on van number two. And now all we have to do is drive back to the salvage yard. Now I gotta say this mission is fairly easy. Both the setups and all of the tasks are very straightforward and the finale is easy as well. So if you guys have the salvage yard, you might as well complete this robbery this week because the car you're getting is incredible. Now you could sell it and make a few hundred thousand dollars, but I do think it's more worth just keeping since the car stock goes for just under 2 million. But there you go, let's now complete all three tasks. Okay, so for the first task, we're gonna have to go here into the ammunition, pick up some gear, and then bring it back. All right, I found it here. It's always gonna be stashed in a duffel bag. We now got it and we could bring it back to the salvage yard. Actually, never mind. We have to stash it at the police station. I completely forgot. So we're going to have to go over here, fly down, and we're stashing it right underneath this trash bin here. So. We got the weapons, put them there, and now we have to leave the area. There you go, task complete. Let's now head over to task number two. All right, we're now here at task number two, and we're gonna have to find a security vehicle here in the parking lot. Okay, here it is, and the stun gun should be inside, so we're gonna open up the trunk pick them up and then bring them back to the salvage yard. And here we are back at the salvage yard and now we can move on to task number three. All right, we're now here at the Cluck and Bell Farm factory and we have to get our getaway vehicle. We could do the stealth, but I'm just gonna go in, take out everybody as fast. Okay, oh, I, why? D I really don't use my brain sometimes. So I've taken everybody out and we have a ton of different cars we could choose from, but I always go here with the NS 300R. It's armored, it's quick. I think it has everything you need. So let's now go bring it over to the drop off. This is gonna be a long drive. So I think now is a great time to talk about the new update coming out this Tuesday. I should be uploading this episode on Saturday. So it will be coming out in a couple days. If you guys don't have about $10 million ready to go for the new update, I would suggest grinding out some money now because I do think there will be a couple new expensive cars coming out, although a lot of the content will be drip fed as it has been for about a year or two now. But the other thing is we're probably going to get a new business and we already know the new business should be a bail and bounty center, I guess. I, I don't know what it's exactly going to be called, but we essentially will be acting as cops and chasing down criminals, which I do think is interesting. But all I'm really hoping for are decent or interesting missions that are somewhat replayable and pay out a decent amount of money. If it is like a business, 
like let's say the agency i do think we can see missions that pay out maybe 50 to 100 thousand dollars each time and maybe have a 10 or so minute cooldown but then again there is always a chance we get another update to like the san andreas mercenaries update where we get somewhat poor missions that don't pay out much and aren't as replayable like i said i'm really hoping that isn't the case but you never know with rockstar although they have had some fairly good updates over the past year. What would be really interesting though is if we get something like the Dr. Dre contract where there is a final, let's say, criminal that we're hunting down and all of the missions leading up to it are us taking out his gang or whatever it may be. I think that would be very entertaining and would make for a great summer DLC. But with that, the drive is over, we have stashed the car, now we have to leave the area. But make sure to let me know in the comment section down below whether you think that would be interesting, what you think is going to come in the DLC, and whether you're excited for the new content that's coming out. But now that we've completed the final task, we could start up the finale. Now, as I said earlier, this is one of the easiest finales, so let's get through it pretty quickly. Hopefully we could do it in about 10 to 15 minutes. So the first thing we have to do is grab the police helicopter here and bring it over to the police station. All right, here we are at the station and we're now gonna have to drop in some tear gas or gas into all of the vents. But first we have to incapacitate the cop Poor guy was just trying to enjoy his coffee, but now we could go for the events. And in my last playthrough, I tried to shoot from deep, but this time I'm just going to toss him in from up close. It makes it faster. That's one vent down. That should be vent number two. Here is vent number three. And this is vent number four. Okay, I take that back. Number four. Okay, number four. How? That's not even like number four. That should be good. Okay, now we can break inside and we're going to have to free the guy who's in the jail cell, which I, I don't remember the name of, but that's what we have to do. It's going to be a bit tricky because we have to incapacitate all the cops who have guns with our stun gun, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I've finally located the keys. They're here on the desk. We got the keys to the cell. Now we got to head downstairs. It's going to be one more cop right here and there should be one more cop right around the corner here. Whoa jump scare and i take that back i think there is one more that should be here at the desk yes there it nope 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 that's not what i wanted to happen there you go now we can access the computer and get the jail cell open our boy king tiny is just ripping some push-ups right now and now we have to escort king tiny out of here there should be a couple cops that come around the corner here okay fbi agents nope nope this is a horrible situation this is a horrible situation somehow we are still alive but now that we're out we could get the weapons from underneath the garbage can here and bring king tiny over to the getaway vehicle so cops are going to be flying here we just got to run as fast as possible hopefully king tiny is right on our tail he should be we have now reached the vehicle and the easiest way to lose the cops here is to go into the underground tunnels that are right here next to our getaway vehicle location so the underground tunnels are right here. They're built for the subway train. And now all we have to do is wait a couple minutes. There you go. Now that we've lost the cops, we're going to have to go over to LSIA, drop them off, and then go to the location of the Itali GTO. And as I said earlier, this is by far the best car to use because it is quick and it has all that armor. I mean, look at this thing. We're absolutely moving. And here we are. There goes King Tani. Let's now go get the car. And to save some time, I just called up my Oppressor Mark II. Now we could fly over there and this will make taking out the Vagos even easier. We are here at the Vagos hideout and we just gotta be careful to not blow up the car that we are taking. We got one guy right here. Nope, nope, that's so dangerous. I'm not gonna play that game. All right, I've taken everybody out and here is the Itali GTO. And man, the modifications for this car that's on it is incredible. I mean, look at the underglow and look at the taillights. Man, this car is beautiful. And there you go. That is the end of the salvage yard robbery. It is that simple. Now, of course, if you're doing it for the first time, you're going to have to do the scope out missions, which should add another maybe five or so minutes, maybe 10. But for the most part, we get it done in 45 minutes to an hour. And look at that. We completed every single objective for the finale, which I've never done before. And we made $50,000. And here is where the car becomes essentially free now. I didn't expect it to be, but now it will be because we just got 50K for doing that. We just got an additional 50K for having our first ever perfect run, which is where you complete every single objective. So we've made $100,000 and now we could claim it for $20,000. So we paid 20 to do the robbery. We just paid 20 in order to buy it. And I'm going to leave it at the Eclipse Garage. So we have just got this for free. And here we are at our Eclipse Garage. And this is the car. Like I said earlier, the modifications Rockstar did for this are incredible. The gray with the orange looks so good. The underglow looked incredible. And the wheels, everything about it, the spoiler. 
man, they did a really, really good job. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is currently tied for my favorite car from 2018. My other favorite is the Overflood Entity XXR. It is the like updated version of the original Entity XF. I love both, but I think I for sure now have to go with the Grotti Itali GTO. Now, as you can see, it's usually just under $2 million, but because we made $100,000 from the salvage yard robbery today, not only did we get it for free, but we actually made some money on this car today. So I'm really happy with it. I love the modifications they made for it, but this isn't going to be the only favorite car that we get today. I'm actually going to buy my favorite car from 2013 as well. And that is of course the Adder. Now there are tons of really good cars that came out in 2013. A lot of them are just the original ones that came out with the GT Online or with the story mode. But the reason why the Adder really sticks out to me is because back in the day, when it was so hard to even make $100,000, everybody wanted the most expensive car in the game, and that was the Adder. Plus, it's based off the Bugatti, which I actually love in real life. So we're going to pick up the Adder today for $1 million. I mean, that was so much money back then, but today it isn't much. And now I'm here at the auto shop so I could customize it. I already did all the performance upgrades. Now it's time to do the cosmetic and I gotta be honest, I do find it a little bit hard to customize the adder because it is a relatively plain car, so I do think I'm going to stick all black for the paint, but I am going to spice it up more on the wheels. For the rims, it's definitely an interesting one, but I think I'm going to go for the Cheetah RR. And I know this is crazy, but I think I'm going to go for race yellow as the... Actually, looking at it now, the Super G rims might be even better. I, I don't know. At the end of the day, this is all personal preference, and I actually might switch the secondary color to yellow as well. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that. It, honestly, it's probably not my favorite customization I've ever done, but... I do think it looks decently. So let's now take it for a spin. And here it is in the light. I do, I don't know. It looks decent, not too bad. Probably not my favorite. Maybe white would be better or even going all black would be cool as well. But I thought adding a little bit of bright color would make it look even better. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these modifications. If you actually, it looks pretty good in the sunlight there. Those rims look pretty sweet. But let me know if you'd keep it the same or change it. If you would change it, let me know what you would change it to because maybe I would change it to that in the future. But there you go. Today, we've now acquired two of the 11 cars we need to complete that part of the GT Online checklist. Of course, you have to get one for 2013 all the way up to 2024, and it will cost millions of dollars, but it'll definitely be worth it. And here they are. They look incredible next to each other. One day we'll have the entire garage filled, but that is going to be all for today's episode. I know we didn't do too much, but there should be a lot of content coming out Tuesday, so we will have multiple episodes on that. But I don't want to do too much before the updates, just in case new things change and things become maybe easier or harder, whatever it may be. We'll talk about it all when the update comes out. Anyways, that's all for today's video. We progressed towards completing the GT Online checklist. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace.